edition of Thunder Talk. I'm the host, Ray Wagner, and there's Coach Brian Gratz. We're switching it up this week. Yeah, decided to mix it up, get a different perspective on his seat versus my seat. Yeah, um, so we got good re uh, good reviews on the set, and we just thought, why not keep changing things? That's right. Every <laughs> week, we'll bring you something different. All right, that sounds good. Uh, Brian, this weekend, on the road, um, talk to me a little bit so far about your impressions of being the SPHL uh, in relation to the fans. Like, I know the uh, ice skaters, fans are very active on the Facebook, which I kind of like, but it's probably a little different for you having to deal with fans. Well, I mean, so uh, well, first off, everywhere we've been, the fans have been uh, tremendous. They're extremely passionate about their teams, and, you know, they're, uh, you know, it's unique everywhere you go. So, I mean, being down in Louisiana this past weekend and, um, you know, after goals, they're throwing the little rubber ice skaters on the ice. And, you know, the fans always had some choice comments to say when we're coming on and off the ice. But that's them supporting their team, and that's what it's all about. So uh, to see that kind of support throughout the league and, you know, in Louisiana this past weekend was pretty fun. It creates a great atmosphere, and, and the fans of Louisiana were fantastic. Good, because I don't respond well to that kind of negativity. <laughs> so it's good, though. That, do you think that the team, is it fun for the team, too, kind of uh, um, being in that moment and, and, and seeing the passion and trying to, you know, put it back in the uh, in their faces as it well, were. Well, any time you're you're on the road, you wanna you wanna do your best to silence the crowd because silencing a crowd is the loudest, most deafening noise you can you can actually right. put on the other team. So um, that's that's kind of what the guys thrive on. And you know, unfortunately, things weren't uh, didn't didn't finish the way we wanted to. I thought they were two winnable games, but uh, you know, their crowd was was excellent and played a part in their momentum and. You know, we got to still make sure that we're uh, not not getting too distracted by what's going on outside the ring. But yeah, very complimentary, at least in what I saw on social media, which I appreciate that they they had a lot of good things to say about the games and just how it was quality entertainment. This Saturday we're back home, kids eat free up to the first goal, which is great. But this week we're back with the Rivermen, yeah. we're reigniting the rivalry. How are you feeling about that? How's the team feeling about that? Well, I mean, we, we know that proximity-wise and, and the way both teams have kind of had a little bit of a sluggish start this year, I mean, these games are huge. And we play each other enough that, um, you know, whoever whoever's going to get the best of this, this rivalry based on the number of games we've played is going to set themselves up best to, to go into the playoffs there. So... We know it's an important weekend, and uh, I know they're coming off a, a losing streak, as we are too, and uh, we need to make sure we get out there and, and get max points as best we can. Uh, this weekend, or I should say this week, Thanksgiving's coming up. Uh, tell me a little bit about what that's like here for the players, most of which are not from our area. What is a, what is a holiday like? as a professional athlete? Well, I can tell you, I mean, being here and, and having to play a game the day after uh, Thanksgiving, there's really not a lot of time to, to be able to go home, see your family. So I know the players will generally get together and do something. And then uh, our fantastic Booster Club uh, invites players over to join their families for, for the Thanksgiving holiday. So we're fortunate to have a fantastic Booster Club who uh, really brings the players in and makes them feel a part of uh, their family and, and our family here in Bloomington in general. So. Uh, it can be tough being apart from the family at uh, holiday times, but uh, we we got a great community and great family uh, to make it a little bit easier. Uh, and uh, lastly, if you have questions, of course, for the coach uh, uh, during Thunder Talk, questions at BloomingtonThunder.com. Mike from Normal wants to know if it's too early for Ray to be growing a playoff beard. No, because I'm growing one myself. Yeah, so, so we've decided it's yeah. playoff beard time already. Yeah, I mean, and, and part of it, too, was, you know, we go down to Louisiana, it's like 75 degrees and humid, and I knew coming back north it was going to get a little chilly, <laughs> so uh, I'm trying to grow mine on, but, hey, it's, uh, you know, it's Movember. I haven't had success with Movember in the past, so going beard vember and uh you know i'm uh, i'm impressed with ray's look but I, I i think brian from bloomington here has a question for ray <laughs> what is that um, question? i, I want to know what your transition's been like from going to off ice official to uh in arena host and uh and and being a radio personality not yeah. used to seeing yourself on a screen right uh, i mean i would have said before that you have a face only a mother could love or, i appreciate that. Uh, face for radio yeah. but uh, he's a good looking guy Thank anyways you. but uh how's your transition been uh, so far, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, for off-ice officiating, I only did a couple of the games, and um, it was a lot more responsibility. You know, uh, Now, if I make a mistake, it's not as big of a deal because it's like the game hangs in the balance. So if I make a mistake, I just apologize to somebody and I give them puck. So it's pretty easy. As for being on the uh, big screen, feels good. Yeah. I'm not going to lie to you. You feel yeah. like you're, uh, you're built for the big screen? Yeah. If anything, I feel like it's, uh, it's like... Um, 
it's been a long time coming. You know what I mean? But you just you put it on and it feels natural. That's good. That was a much longer response than I wanted. But uh, it was a much longer question than I wanted. It was. Asked, it so was. <laughs> we're both learning. Well, thank you very much from from Coach Gratz here and and uh, Ray Wagner, our uh, delightful host. Uh, this is Thunder Talk. See you next time.